First, we must remember that gravitational force is the force of attraction between two bodies of mass. For example, if the Sun and the Earth is positioned next to each other, the Sun would be attracted to the Earth's gravitational force, and the Earth would be attracted to the Sun's gravitational force. Due to Newton's third law, the attracting force between the Sun and the Earth should be in equal magnitude and acting in the opposite direction. However, because the Sun has a much greater mass, the Sun's gravitational force on the Earth would affect the Earth much more than the Earth's gravitational force on the Sun, due to Newton's second law which states that objects with a larger mass require more force to accelerate. Therefore, the Earth would be gradually pulled towards the Sun whereas the Sun would remain almost stationary. This is why planets orbit the Sun rather than the other way around. Well then, wouldn't the Earth just hit the Sun? Wouldn't we all die? No. It is said that the Earth travels in an elliptical orbit around the Sun because in the beginning, the Earth was traveling near the Sun at a certain velocity. The nature of the Sun's gravitational force acts in a perpendicular direction to the Earth's velocity, and the Earth was pulled into the Sun's gravitational field, in which gravity provided the centripetal force, or the force which draws any object towards the center of a circular motion, needed for the Earth to orbit the Sun. And because of Newton's first law, if there are no opposing forces acting on the Earth, the Earth will never lose its velocity and will continue to orbit around the Sun as long as the Sun still exists. The same concept may be applied to the Moon and artificial satellites orbiting the Earth, and comets orbiting the Sun.